There's no day quite like delivery day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are taking delivery of a $5 million Bugatti Devo. It's the 4th of January, 2021, and I would reckon this is the coolest car we're gonna film the entire year. Now, quick disclaimer, this is not my car. My friend is taking delivery of this gorgeous Devo. They're only building 40 of them for $5 million. So naturally, of course, the Bugatti Devo gets its own crate, its own chest, you might say. I'm telling you guys, like. Nobody does it quite like Bugatti. That is so cool. So it's a blue carbon fiber in case crate right there. Wow. Check that out. That is how you get a key in style right there. One of 40. That's amazing. All these little hidden compartments to just open up this cool my gosh. It's like a little trap door to unbox your body deal. What? That paint scheme is crazy. We have another little trap door right here. Look at these wheels and all of the detail. Of course, the white glove treatment that you always get on Bugatti delivery day. Check this thing out. This is so crazy. I just can't get over the tail, like all the intricacies of that. You got six exhaust tips right there. Goodness. Wow, look at this thing. So this is one of the final Devos to be delivered because the paint is so incredibly intricate. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. That is mesmerizing. This is like legitimately the coolest car I have ever seen in my entire life. What? I'm telling you guys, Bugatti, time and time and again, they just continue to outdo themselves. Wow. <laughs> it's truly an alien spaceship right here. The 1500 horsepower Bugatti Devo. So base MSRP on one of these is about $5 million. But I can tell you this, this paint scheme, this is like, this is a crazy paint scheme. Wow. Did I ever mention to you guys how much I love the beautiful state of California? Those daytime LEDs are so sick. Obviously this morning has been a little bit chaotic. When the paint hits the sun, wow. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. So sick. So it's getting loaded into the JP Logistics truck. It's headed off to Beverly Hills because this car is still in transport mode. So it doesn't have like full power. It still has to go through the PDI and whatnot. Wow, that paint is crazy. I don't know how this happened, boys, but somehow we just got the key to the Bugatti Diva. So this is the valet key right here. So this car has been dubbed by the owner, the Ladybug. I just cannot take in this paint. It is so incredibly mesmerizing just to look at the carbon fiber winglet right there. We're gonna slowly, ever so cautiously, get inside the Devo. You got all the protective film right there, the seat covers and everything. So like I said, very, very careful. This car is worth more than everything I own and then like four or five million dollars. Wow, okay, so we got the key in our pocket. We're gonna push the engine button right there. Oh yes, wow. I tell you guys, like nobody does it quite like Bugatti. Just the attention to detail, the red leather, the Alcantara, all the matte carbon fiber. This car has 252 miles on it. Oh, we got LC right there. That's of course for launch control. Could you imagine launching this car? I don't really know what else to say. I'm just kind of sort of taking in the moment, appreciating it. Someday, one day, I want to take delivery of a brand new Bugatti. I'm telling you guys, like nobody does it quite like them. We got all the different menus right here. Obviously, I don't want to break anything, so this is not a comprehensive tour. Doug DeMuro did a video on a Devo. His is gonna be way better than mine. Wow, all the different driving roads right there. This car is just gorgeous. Okay, so before we break it, we're gonna shut her down. Most of the Devos that have been delivered are kind of like a grayscale or blue. This red though under the California sun is just popping all the details on this car. I've never seen anything quite like it. Another startup because 
That sound just never ever gets old. So quad turbocharged W16. This car is more like a track version of the Chiron. It did eight seconds faster around the Narda track in Italy, which is very, very significant. Eight seconds is like an eternity when it comes to racing. Could you imagine seeing a Devo in your rear view mirror with these daytime LEDs? You can see the headlights just right there. And this paint scheme is just crazy. Like I mentioned earlier, so the owners dubbed this the Ladybug. He also has the Hellbug, which is the Veyron the Helby, which is the Chiron, and of course the Vision Gran Turismo. Best Bugatti collection in the entire world, bar none. There's truly no day quite like delivery day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog and welcome here to the Newport Coast of California. That Bugatti Chiron is very, very cool, but today, boys, we are chasing exclusive, unprecedented access. This is the first Lamborghini Sion in all of North America. I don't know how we got the invite, but we did. I cannot thank Lamborghini Newport Beach enough. The greatest Christmas present of all Christmas presents. This is how you do it right here. This is amazing. It's not every day that you take the delivery of a one-off Lamborghini. I'm still convinced Lamborghini does it best. It's such an event to take delivery of this car like it should be. 3.3 million dollars. This is where I got the inspiration for the Bugatti Veyron crate that I did a couple months ago. I don't know what it is, it's just so cool. I think it must have been maybe three years ago we filmed the first Centenario Roadster and here on the 23rd of December 2020, the first Sion in all of North America. There it is. Oh. <laughs> They're getting so close. The anticipation is building right now. I cannot wait to see this car. Oh my goodness, the anticipation is building. Here we go, the moment. The first Sion to hit US soil right here. Oh, I think we're ready. Are we ready? Look at all the people. Yes. All right, let's do it. Get your mask up, Derek. Let's go. Oh, there's a sneak peek of the color right there. Wow, wow. Oh, here we go, here we go. Three. Wow. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that car is so beautiful. Wow. Maybe. On the 23rd of December, 2020, the Sion has touched US soil. I am just like completely blown away. This car is gorgeous. It is an alien spaceship. Oh my gosh. If there are any Lamborghini executives watching today's video, well done. That car is beautiful. I cannot take my eyes off of this car. Oh my gosh, you got the Countach and styled taillights right there. And just check out these hexagonal exhaust pipes. That car's crazy. Uh, be careful. This car is just absolutely gorgeous. It is mesmerizing to look at in person. So Lamborghini Newport Beach, they also have a Centenario inside the showroom and I convinced Alex to bring it outside so that we can see the two next to each other. We had to. Just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of this car, the most powerful production Lamborghini of all time. We're talking 815 horsepower. This car's a hybrid. It has a super capacitor and a, as well as the six and a half liter V12 from the Aventador. Now the car is currently in transport mode, and so when he revved it earlier, it only revs up to like 3,000 RPMs, and on that bombshell, the Bugatti Chiron just made an appearance. Quad turbocharged W16, we're talking 1,500 horsepower. That car has four more turbos than the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, as well as the Sion. Check that out, blue carbon. Does it get any better than that? Are you kidding me? What? The Centenario Roadster, one of 20 in the entire world. Alex is just flexing on everybody. Check that out. This has never happened before. Like we are chasing a world's first right now, the Sion next to the Centenario. It's so cool to see the evolution. You can see the Y shape right there. And of course the Y shape on the Centenario as well. So 3.3 million, I want to say maybe 2.4 million. That's a lot of millions right there. Every single time Lamborghini kills it, it's so crazy. Like look at the Centenario, look at the Sion, the back ends, like they're kind of sort of similar, but they're really not, but they're both absolutely incredible. 
the knife edge diffuser of the Centenario Roadster, and then all the floating lights of the Sion. It's so cool. You can see the US spec reflector right there just kind of sort of tacked on because the United States has dumb regulations. But what are we gonna do? There it is. Oh goodness. What has just happened? We have the keys to the Lamborghini Sion, the only one in North America right now. Oh my goodness, I gotta be so cautious, so careful. 3.3 million dollars. We have the 01 to 63 right there. I love this center console right here. A lot of what we see in this car is gonna be used for future Lamborghinis. You have the electrochromatic roof right there, and of course that super capacitor. This interior is incredible. I love how the Sion lights up right there. Okay, so before we break it, we're gonna shut her down. Unfortunately, we do have to say bye to the Sion because my flight takes off in about an hour. We gotta head back to Utah, but one more startup just because. Bear in mind it is in transport mode, so we can't like rev it, it can't go that high. It still sounds amazing though. 815 horsepower, the fastest Lamborghini ever. Ah, breathe it in boys, oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see when he's on the highway like going full send. Now I was considering starting 2021 with some dumb video talking about my goals for the new year, but I decided, you know what? We are gonna be relentless this year. We are gonna go above and beyond. We are gonna chase the best of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. The Lamborghini Sion and the Lamborghini Mira. There are only two Sions here in North America. This one right here and the one we filmed last week. We are just hunting the world for the most exclusive hypercars. Check this thing out. It is full matte carbon fiber with the paint to carbon gradient. That is insanity. The spec on this car is gorgeous. There's more paint to carbon gradient right there. You have the paint to carbon gradient right here on the roof as well. And then inside the legendary Sion. So check this out boys. Nobody, like no car journalist, not that I'm a car journalist. I am definitely not a car journalist. I'm not really sure what it is that I do with cars, but whatever it is that I do, nobody has ever actually like been inside a Sion being driven on the road. And today boys, we're gonna be doing just that. The daytime LEDs on the Sion are just crazy. Oh my gosh. That car is so sick. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? This car is so sick. Oh my gosh. That gradient. I know I keep talking about the gradient on and on and on and on, but when that carbon hits the sunlight here in Florida, wow. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple more, couple more. <laughs> the day on the private island, they're not gonna be happy, but sometimes in life, it's a V12 Lamborghini. Now as luck would have it, the Sion is not the only hypercar we're gonna be filming today, and that's because there's a whole garage full of supercars and hypercars. Like I said, the Sion is amazing, but we also have the Porsche 918 Spider and the LaFerrari Aperta. I have to briefly apologize. It's like 85 degrees and humid here in Miami, so if I'm sweating profusely, um, yeah, also I'm pasty white, but it's like 24 degrees in Utah. If you're new to the channel, my name is James and I live in Utah, and we're here in Florida because Utah doesn't have cars like this. My inside source is the owner, he tells me that this is a straight pipe LaFerrari, so headphone user sees the moment. It's probably gonna be a little bit loud. Sion was loud. If there's any Ferrari executives, if there's any Ferrari executives watching today's video, they should all sound like this. This right here is unprecedented. This has never happened before. The latest and greatest from Lamborghini with the latest and greatest from Ferrari. There's only 63 Sions and there's only 210 La Ferrari of Peritas. In the comments below, would you rather have the Lamborghini Sion for like 3.3 million or the La Ferrari of Perita for a cool seven million dollars? But maybe you're more of the German type and you'd rather have a Porsche 918 Spider. 
Not quite the LaFerrari of Heritage, but it doesn't matter. It's the fastest car in the group. I think it's safe to say this is the craziest lineup we have ever had in the entire history of the channel. The Sion is the first hybrid ever from Lamborghini. The LaFerrari is the first hybrid ever from Ferrari. And the 918 is the first hybrid ever from Porsche. And we have all three of them here together. Wow. I think it's safe to say that we are starting off 2021 just chasing these views on views. I'm trying to decide which car do we want to start with. I think we're going to take, like I was saying, this is a world's first. I'm not trying to hype it up too much, but it is. Like, this is a world's first Lamborghini Sion exclusive footage. This matte carbon is so gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to slowly, ever so slowly. This car only has 88 miles on it. You got the rose gold right there. We're going to start her up. Oh, goodness. So we're going to pop it into Corsa mode, as you do. The car's warmed up. Like, the car's warmed up. Couple baby revs. Wow! Fastest Lamborghini ever built right there, ladies and gentlemen. I would reckon there have been more people on the moon than in a Lamborghini Sion. That's probably incorrect, but we're gonna go with it because we can. Wow! I need a private island with a private racetrack. Check this out, boys. There is a Pagani wire headed to the driveway right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. So Gold Rush Rally is in the state of Utah. It's the most exclusive, expensive rally in all of North America. And the boys over at Savage Garage are doing the rally in their wire, their SVJ, and their Audi RS6. Now they're headed to Montana today, but I convinced them to take a slight detour and come visit us. So it's pretty exciting. You. This is the view all the neighbors are gonna see when they come home. I'm not gonna say it's controlled chaos, how crazy is it to have a Pagani Huayra here at the house? Like, just check that out. One of the coolest cars in the entire world, the famed Pagani Huayra. This one has the Tempesta pack as well. Looks so cool there next to the Veyron. This car is super low. Last thing we want to do is leave carbon uh, deposits on the asphalt. Yo, what? I know every single time I see a Pagani wire, I'm always ranting and raving at that shifter linkage, but this interior is so much cooler than the Veyron. Bugatti, take note. I love your car, your car's incredible, but this interior, there's nothing quite like it. It looks so sick. I still cannot get over that this car is sitting in my driveway. And when I say my driveway, of course the Burlack is driveway, but you know what I mean. Got empty bottles shoved everywhere. Yes. Just trash on the floor. <laughs> I love to see a car that's used though, because yeah. most Wyras are spotless all the time, sitting in showrooms. Absolutely. And you've done what, 3,000 miles? I, I almost it's guarantee you that I've probably driven awesome. more miles right as a Pagani owner than most Pagani owners have ever I'm sure you have, I'm sure you have. And you've yeah. had the car for what, two months? Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. That lineup right there, oh, there goes the Wyra. Oh, Randy, you want to go? Are we going? I think he wants to go. I got to pop into sport mode. Oh no! I was popping into sport mode! I completely blew that race right there. I need a take two, Randy. Hook a brother up. I was trying to get it in sport mode. I'm pathetic. I am embarrassing all Bugatti owners. Oh, oh, here we go. Wait for it. Oh, this Pharaoh's pulling. See ya. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. There's no day quite like delivery day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today is deja vu. I'm saying everything I said yesterday when we took delivery of the Bugatti Devo because today, boys, we are taking delivery of the Bugatti Chiron per sport. There's just something about uncrating a brand new Bugatti. I don't want to take some plywood to the forehead. I'm no baby burlacker. I'm five foot eleven, so we gotta have a little baby steps to check that out. The Chiron Per Sport, the second one to hit North American soil. Dun dun dun! Wait for it! Wait for it! Wait for it! Oh my goodness! The Per Sport. This thing is so so sick. Are you? Kidding? 
kidding me? It's not even my car. This car is actually currently for sale at Bugatti of Newport Beach. I'm telling you guys, nobody does it quite like Bugatti. They just continue and continue to raise the bar. The Chiron is an amazing car, but the Purse Sport with all this carbon fiber, all the different aero, and then of course the Bugatti Diva we filmed off yesterday. Someday, one day, I think we might have to swap out the Veyron for a Chiron. Whoa, I think we might. It's the Bugatti difference that makes all the difference. The ratchet straps are the same color as the per sport like I don't know if that was just luck I'm pretty sure they planned that they're the same color like that's painted sample right there it's so crazy to see everything involved in building this crate for the sheer on first sport it's so motivating to see a car like this we're only five days into 2021 but this is gonna be different, boys. Like, this is what we're shooting for the famed white glove treatment of a Bugatti delivery day yo check that out boys Yo, that car is so beautiful. It's just so, so beautiful. Wow. I don't know, guys. The Diva we filmed yesterday was incredibly beautiful, but there's something about the Chiron design, and this back end is just crazy. The knife edge diffuser, that carbon fiber, and this color is gorgeous. I don't know what it is about these hypercars. They just make me feel like a little kid. This car is so sick. And somehow we have the key. So this is the valet key. The actual real key was in that chest. We might unbox it later, but this is the valet key right here. Yes, it does look like it's straight from a Volkswagen Jetta. Let that sink in. <laughs> this is so crazy. There's just something about being in a brand new Bugatti. The smell is just like, exquisite i love the ambiance as well yes i know i'm using big words but we're in a french car so we're gonna push the engine start button right there yes 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 this car only has 235 miles on it right there wow the alcantara wrap steering wheel all the matte carbon fiber. I just love that blue center line right there. Now, unlike the standard Chiron, the Devo and the Per Sport were not built for ultimate top speed. They only do 236 miles an hour. The Chiron does like 260, 270. And so because of that, there's actually no top speed key on the Per Sport. There's no slot right here like the standard Chiron. I just love all of the arrow on this car. This carbon wing, but then the carbon diffuser. And I just love the exhaust around as well. Bugatti, I'm telling you, time and time and again, they always crush it. Oh, goodness. Another book. Once again, I have no idea what's in these books. The Chiron Purse. Okay, so this is the exact same chest as the Devo. I love how the stitching on the box matches the paint on the Purse Sport. And of course, one of 500 with the famed Bugatti key. So the key on my Veyron is $9,000 to replace. I don't even want to know what that is. And then underneath the key, I believe, is the owner's manual. Check that out. I love how the Chiron Purse Sport, like the silhouette, is almost emblazoned on that cover. That car is an actual spaceship. Wow. When this paint hits the sun, though. Oh, goodness. That JP Logistics always has the coolest cars. If you guys live in Southern California or anywhere in the United States and you need a car shipped, they are the best in the business. That color is crazy beautiful. Wow. I've been trying to figure out how to describe this for like the last 25 minutes. Watch the headlights when I push the unlock button. They're going to light up individually and then they go out. And then we're going to lock the car and it's gonna do it the opposite way. That is so cool. Why is that so cool? That's amazing, it's mesmerizing. Yo, that trailer's sick. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. That is so crazy. So this is one of three experimental prototype McLaren Senna's. Yo, full exposed carbon fiber. And it's being delivered at my house of all places. I think you guys might have the wrong address. Oh, look at that red carbon fiber. I don't think the camera's picking it up. We'll get it out under this Utah sun. That interior is one of one. <laughs> Like I always say, boys, it is another perfect day here in the beautiful state of Utah. Post Malone's McLaren Senna is somehow, someway, in the driveway at the Burlacker House. How did this happen? That carbon fiber, fully exposed carbon fiber. This might be the highest spec MSRP McLaren Senna 
in the entire world. Da -da the best part on this car is the interior. Look at all that red carbon just glistening. The entire interior is full of, even the seat backs are red carbon fiber. Wow. Even the key is finished in red exposed carbon fiber. So we are gonna sneak on in the alien spaceship that is the McLaren Senna. Yo, <laughs> this is so sick. Okay, so we're gonna try to figure out, we don't wanna break anything. How do you close the door? Oh, right here. The Master of Monaco number one of one. So there's only three experimental prototypes. This one has been dubbed the Master of Monaco. And yes, guys, this car is owned by Mr. Post Malone and he's currently offering it for sale. Whoa, one of you guys should buy it. This interior is so cool. One of my favorite features is the start button is actually on the roof right here. Oh, look at that. This whole center console piece right here, when you adjust the seat forward, it actually moves back and forth with you that red carbon, like I've never seen that on the interior of a car. It is to die for. And if we press this button right here, that whole screen just drops down into race mode. Wow. Okay, so before we break it, we're going to turn it off. The exterior carbon fiber on a McLaren Senna is a half a million dollar option, a $500,000 option. That's like the price of a house. And that's just for exposed carbon fiber. I'm not sure what the inside carbon fiber runs, but it's probably a couple other hundred thousand dollars and well worth it. If you have the money, I highly recommend you pick it up. It's hard for me to convey to you guys how special this car is. So they only built 500 McLaren Sennas, but then there's also three experimental prototypes, which is this car right here. This is one of the three, the highest dollar MSRP cars in the entire world. So the experimental prototypes, they were sent back to McLaren Special Operations. They were recommissioned for public sale and Post Malone bought one of them. There's only three of these. This is the first time one has ever gone up for public sale because obviously the three cars, highest dollar MSRP, they were the first to sell to the most important McLaren customers in the entire world. And now is the opportunity for one of you guys to buy this car. Now, if you do buy it, please be sure to mention me because that'd be kind of sort of cool. But the three cars, we have the Master Monaco, this car right here. We have the Home Victory car, as well as the Lap of the Gods. But I would reckon this car with that red carbon fiber, this is the best, this is the one you want. 145 miles on this thing, it is brand new. This thing is like a time capsule. We're gonna take it for a very, very baby spin. We'll Just take a little baby spin. Yeah. Nothing too crazy, we're sure. probably not gonna launch it. We're not gonna launch it, are we? No. Or are we? Are nope. you sure? Nope. Okay, there's not, there's not gonna be a launch control. I'm pretty sure you want variable drift control. That's what you want, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna need, just not today. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but if you buy this car, you can do it, and you can also launch it. All of it, all the above. Each and everything you wanna do also, look at that four liter twin turbocharged V8. All the carbon fiber in this car is amazing. There's just nothing quite like a center. Like, look at that little port. You can see the C8 and the 4GT right there. It's so cool to have all the cars here also post Malone center. Like, what is happening today? What a weird week. We had the wire like three days ago, and now we have another hypercar. On cue, we have the Lamborghini Urus right there. So Post Malone's dad is actually driving that car right now. We're gonna be talking to him shortly. I think the McLaren Senna is one of the most visceral experiences ever. You got the moonroof right here, you got the glass and the door panel right there. Just look at that visual don't pay attention to his beard i see you guys looking at his beard don't do that Tom. <laughs> this is so cool like this is an alien spaceship we are in post malone's mclaren center right now we only have 145 miles on the odometer so obviously we're not going to drive the car a lot but if you buy the car you can launch it you can do variable drift control you can do whatever you want you can take me for a ride if you if you felt so inclined only if you felt inclined right there Ah, oh, fresh air feels good <laughs> <laughs> And then we got the Urus just peeping right there and the whole squad of cars. That's the coolest view we've ever had on this channel. Wow.